<laughs> you have some more presents, surprises you want to give it? No? Okay, sure. Uh, okay, hello everyone. Uh, this is my first time in headwear. Um, yeah, help. Woo! <laughs> But I'm not too excited because after looking at the first three presentations, I think I'm not that well prepared. Uh, why? Is because I do not have a presentation with me. I thought it'd be more like a demo. Just come here, show my stuff, and that's it. So I don't have a presentation slide uh, for you guys to see. Yeah. So, okay. So uh, the motivation for this project was uh, I was invited for a school talk for a primary school student. So I was like thinking, you know. I don't think I should be doing like a normal presentation because school kids will get bored after like five or ten minutes. So I thought like, hey, I think I should, you know, uh, delve into some hardware stuff. So I think, uh, okay, before that, I want to correct King Ming. I, am, I graduated with an electrical engineering degree, but uh, since I was a kid, I was always been doing software. It was just like a few seniors in my university who advised me that, hey, uh, if you like computing, go into electrical engineering. So I followed them and I found out that you know, I should have gone to computer engineering instead. <laughs> but it all turns out well because uh, with all this IoT stuff and uh, with my degree in electrical engineering, I found out that you know all these things are familiar. So that's why it was uh, very easy for me to pick it up, uh, pick it back up uh, easily. So uh, I ended up. Uh, so I was thinking about it. What should I show the students? And I was thinking that hey, you know maybe I should look into lights. Because lights will be something that uh, is easily presentable. They can easily see the change. And uh, uh, this is just a prototype. I wanted to make a bigger one. But uh, for today, I thought uh, to have just a smaller one so that I do not have to bring my transformer down. If I, need, if I want a bigger light presentation... Oh, it's very hard to... <laughs> <laughs> if I want a bigger light show, I would need more power. So uh, just for today, I'm uh, going to make it smaller and uh, I'm using a smaller strip so that uh, the Arduino is able to power it up and it works just fine yeah so uh, I started out with my Arduino I was able to make it light up I uh, was using the man so many wires okay yeah so I was using the RGB LED and uh, that was my first prototype. I was just making sure that uh, if I were to change the potential meter, it would change the R, G, and the B values accordingly. Then the second one was, uh, I was thinking, you know, I'm an iOS developer. I need to show my app or something like that. So that's when I was thinking about the Bluetooth. But I found out that uh, for iOS, the Bluetooth, uh, you, only certain Bluetooth can be used. And uh, the first thing was uh, I was using HC05. Uh, that one can't be used with iOS at all. Only can be used with Arduino. So I went to Fuzzly and asked him, hey, do you have like a Bluetooth shield or something like that? And uh, he presented me with this micro bit. And the interesting thing about this micro bit is that the government it is giving, the, giving it away for free to students. So, so I was like thinking, hey, then this would be the best thing to demonstrate to the students. You know, to show them something familiar, to show them that whatever they have, they can actually use it to code something cool. So this is the micro bit, and I'm actually just using it for the Bluetooth. I actually wanted it uh, to communicate directly with the new pixel, but what happened is that uh, once I import the uh, Bluetooth library, I could not get it to work together with the new pixel library. Yeah, it clashes or something. So. I had to connect the micro bit to the Arduino to make the new pixel light up, which is uh, yeah, not so good. So I had to use like three different languages to do this. Micro bit was using JavaScript, uh, Arduino was using uh, C, and uh, my iOS app was using Swift. Yeah. So, okay, uh, now to just uh, hook everything up and show you guys how it works. Little? Hmm? <laughs> Wait, hold on. 
Okay, so uh, this is just some fancy things that I do on the I mean micro bit just to show across that it's not being connected to the iPad. Okay, so this is just my app. It's just simple. I just start scanning and I'm able to detect my BBC, my micro bit. Uh, one thing I did was I advertised my own uh, UID so that only this app can detect this. Uh, this so for a bit of security reason, but I haven't uh, explored the pairing part. Yeah. So once I'm connected, okay, just trying to discover it. So this is the RGB. Okay. Just need to go do this. Set the color. There it goes. Yeah. Sorry, microphone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. So if I go to blue, it will go. Oops, sorry. <laughs> okay. Oh, 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 thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, blue. Okay. Then goes to green. And I can even set different functions for it. And yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll go back to one then. <laughs> yeah. So this will be white and I don't think it goes to black. I tried black before. Let's try it again. It will just close. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, something wrong. <laughs> And connect it again. Goes back in. What did you do at that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. So, yeah, that's it for my demo for this RGB LED. Yes, thank you. Yes, thank you. Do you guys have any questions? Oh, yeah. To primary school kids. Yeah. To in Singapore, yeah. I, I didn't know it at first until uh, Basli told me about it. So it's actually a very good uh, board for primary school kids because it has almost everything and the interface for uh, programming is uh, they make it for kids, the UI, yeah, and it's online. Yeah. Can you show us what this microbit programming looks like? Oh, okay. I don't think I can go onto the internet. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's online. Yeah, they used to have an offline one, but I think they discontinued it and make everything online. So you need to download the codes. It will be in hex format. Uh, I can show that hex format. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks something like that. <laughs> and you just need to dump it into the micro bit, which is this one. Yeah. Mm. That's all. Okay. You said it's JS? Yeah, the, in, on, online you can either use the JS or use the fancy, you know, pockets like Lego stuff, you know, yeah. Mm. yeah. Any more questions? No? Okay, uh, just, uh, okay, so I'm actually also an admin of iOS uh, meetup. <laughs> So, I need to do this. <laughs> no, this was given <laughs> to me. <laughs> I just need to flash it. Yeah. So, uh, we're going to have an iOS conference on the 19th and 20th of October, which will be in two weeks' time. Uh, tickets left is about uh, 50, 50 tickets. So, if you guys uh, want to attend this, uh, please buy the tickets as soon as possible because it's selling out fast. Yeah, so uh, for more information, it will be at, on ios.com.sg. Yeah, I would like to show you the website, but I'm not connected on the internet, so yeah, just take it that there's 22 speakers, two days, and a single track. Where? Yeah. Where? Uh, Singapore Polytechnic. Yeah. Singapore.
Eh, eh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Nayang, Nayang, correct. Nayang politik. Yeah, yeah, oh my god, sorry. Oh, <laughs> and I'm recorded. <laughs> it's okay, go to the website. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, and uh, King Ming will be one of the speakers for one of the lightning talks. So he's going to introduce some. Uh, you want to say something? Over? No? I guess so. Uh, yeah, oh, it's Bluetooth too. Yeah. Is uh, some proximity sensor type, right? Yeah, okay, that's all I can give you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, all right, thank you.